Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. After a short hiatus, I am back and I would love to welcome you all to a brand new series in my channel, What's in Your Tesla? This is a collaboration series that I have created along with my mate from Canada, Kaushik, who goes by the Twitter handle KKVR2823. And this series of videos would be a synopsis of our new podcast, Bite of Why. Please do check out our podcast as well. Links in the description. And the reason why we created this podcast is because between the two of us, we have either owned or currently own S3, X and Y. And we want to give you real world numbers so that you can make an informed decision before buying the Tesla of your choice. Without further ado, I welcome you all to episode one of What's in Your Tesla? Battery degradation between the Model 3 and Model Y. In particular, effects of temperature on battery. First up, let's do a quick overview on battery technology in our Teslas. There is the 1865 batteries in the Model X and Model S, but we're not going to talk too much about that because we're not discussing the Model X nor S in this video. Batteries in the Model 3 and Model Y are 2170 batteries, so named because they have a diameter of 21 millimeters and a height of 70 millimeters. This gives the Model 3 a range of between 420 to 450 kilometers and Model Y a range of 488 to 525 kilometers of EPA range. Now, if you are in Australia, our cars are quoted in NEDC range, which looks like substantially higher, but not real world numbers. Now, EPA is more real world data, and that is something which you ought to remember before you make your purchase. On battery day, Tesla revealed a brand new cell called 4680, which has five times more energy, 16 times more range, and six times more power than the 2170 battery, which it would eventually replace. But unfortunately, it won't reach volume production for the next few years. So for now, it's a 2170 battery. An in-depth coverage of Tesla's battery day is on my channel. Link in the description and in the top right corner. While you're at it, a subscription to the channel will be brilliant. Now, let's look at Model 3 battery degradation in one year. Quick context, this was a 2019 Model 3 SR Plus. As we know, where we charge the car has an impact on the batteries. In this case, the charging has predominantly been AC charging accounting for 92% of the times. Model 3 range on delivery was 380 kilometers, going down to 365 kilometers in one year with temperature fluctuations between 20 degrees and minus 10 degrees centigrade. And in some days, minus 20 degrees centigrade as well. Now, now, I'm sure you see this number which says minimum range was 355 kilometers. How is that you may ask? Well, the answer is in the latter part of this video, so keep watching. Let's look at quarterly splits. Between the months of August and November, the temperature was between 8.5 degrees and 28 degrees, with the range being a near plateau with less than 10 kilometers of range loss. Between November of 2019 and January of 2020, when the outside temperature was between 3 degrees and 8 degrees, there was a negligible loss as well. Now this range of temperatures between 3 degrees and 28 degrees would be similar to our Aussie temperature ranges and we can say that this is the optimum range of operation for the 2019 Model 3. Now between Jan and March of 2020 with the temperature fluctuation between 5 degrees and minus 8 degrees the hit on the battery was a bit more. Range dropped from 371 kilometers to 359 kilometers. Between March and July 2020, range jumped from 362 degrees to 365 degrees and this particular spike is due to a software update. That's what OTA or over the air software update does. How cool is that? You get a software update and your car gets more range. When have you seen this in any ICE car? In one year of ownership, Model 3 had three range bumps. First was the 2019.32.12 software update, the second was 2019.40.50.5 and the third was 2020.4.1. Now let's compare this with the Model Y. Again to give a bit of context, this is a long range all wheel drive Model Y. I must point out that Kaushik has only owned this car for 3 months and so let's look at 3 months worth of numbers. In these 3 months there has been virtually no loss of range and the car has gained some too with a handsome 15 kilometers of range boost with software update. Now look at this graph. This one graph paints the big picture in more ways than meets the eye. We all know that Tesla constantly improves their cars and they do not have year numbers. Even so, 
the new 2021 Model 3 is a massive change. If you have not seen the changes, please do check the description of this video or the top right corner. I do have a video on the same. We will do a similar comparison with the new 2021 Model 3 as well as soon as it's made available here in Australia. Guys, once again, a subscription to the channel will be amazing and I really appreciate it. Now for a programming note on the Bite of Why podcast. This week, we will talk about full self-driving beta and the rapid succession of updates since Tesla's Q3 earnings call. We have a couple of very interesting guests lined up for you, so don't miss this episode. The times are on the screen right now. If you're tuning in from Sydney, Australia, that would be Sunday, 10 a.m. Now, if you're watching this after the fact, the link to that podcast will be in the description as well as in the top right corner. Now, that's all, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you are in the market for a Tesla, don't forget to use a referral code to get 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging credit. You need to click on the link before you click on the car of your choice. It can't be added after the fact. If you think I have helped you, please consider using my referral code. Link is in the description as well as on the screen. As you know, I do not need the credits for myself. I do leave those supercharger credits along with my Model 3 that I'd rent out via ev.com.au. Until I see you in another interesting video very soon, this is Nash from Tesla in the Gong, signing off, peace.